Are you looking for all of the skill fruit tree locations with no BS? If so, then this video is going to be for you. I'll be showing you all the locations as well as giving you the map coordinates. You're going to have a bunch of skill fruit ranging from epic, rare, all the way down to uncommon. So let's get started. All right, very quickly, before we go to the very first location, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do this format. Essentially, if you look on the map, I'm going to be showing you all the locations and we're going to kind of go in a line. I'm not going to crisscross between locations. It's going to be like a gradual going from one spot to the next, like really close to each other. So that way you could follow along and hopefully I do a good enough job so it's not confusing. So anyways, let's get started. This is going to be the first location we start at, and the coordinates are 367, negative 319. It's kind of hidden in this little grotto area with water. There's a little island in the middle with a tree, as well as a cave. Just go southwest and you will reach the second location. This is usually everybody's first skill tree that they find because it's right next to the Plateau of Beginnings. And the coordinates are 202, negative 451. You could either jump across with the mount. Let's see, I'm going to show you. You could glide across. All right. Or if you're feeling brave, you could literally just jump this spot. Oh, man. See, so you can jump across it. If we go west from that location, you're going to find the next spot at the coordinates negative 13, negative 481. You can find this spot up a mountain plateau and then this area looks like Autumn Fall, so you can't miss it. And the skill tree is right there. Just go a little bit west. And you are going to see the next spot at negative 192, negative 520. And yeah, pretty self-explanatory with the spot. See, here's like this flat area. So it's going to be right there. From this location, all you got to do is go a little bit north. And then you'll get right here. And the coordinates are negative 185, negative 404. So if we take a look around, it's kind of up high. And the skill tree is right here on the map. So we're going to keep going north and eventually you'll get to this spot. It's negative 244, negative 200. If we take a look at the surrounding area, it's up very high. But you could get to the side that is the shortest towards the ground and work your way up. Now you want to go northwest, cross the water, go on this little island right here, and the coordinates are going to be negative 451, negative 35. It's flat, and then you're going to see a big hole, and then you just drop down into it. Next thing I want to do is take care of this lava area, so we're going to go southwest. And you're going to go all the way until you reach this location, which is negative 626, negative 258. Although you have the coordinates, this skill tree can still be difficult to find. So you got the castle walls here. You've got the closest fast travel, which is right over there. You've got the skill tree, which is right here. Okay, you know what, dude? Yeah, buddy. So to the next location, we need to go south. You could either go around the island or go through it. It's up to you. But essentially go south until you go right here. And the coordinates are negative 551, negative 627. So now that we've cleared the left side of the map, fast travel until you can get near to this location, 
and the coordinates are negative 37, negative 159. To the next location, it's going to be a little northeast, and the coordinates are 51, negative 52. The next area is pretty close, so all you got to do is go east. And eventually you'll get to this spot and the coordinates are 150, negative 29. Uh, cool thing about it is there's a cave location right here that I haven't discovered. So, so this spot is kind of nestled in between like a bunch of mountain and hills right next to the world boss. And let's move on to the next location. So the next one is you just got to go east and get to this spot at... 337, negative 40. It's kind of like a little canyon of lava in like the meadow area. So right here on the map, you can see it's like a little river of lava. And it is right here. To the next spot, we got to go north. So fast traveling does make this a little bit faster. But if you don't, all you got to do is just go north. Hop over to the desert area and it's going to be right up here on top of this like mountain plateau. And the coordinates are 293, 257. It is up high. You definitely need to just get a flying mount to get up here. But yeah. To get to the next location is pretty easy. You're just going to go north. Again, it's kind of up on top of a mountain plateau. And the coordinates are 330, 487. This next spot is kind of tricky to get to because you need to go up a high cliff. You go across the body of water. You're just going to be hit by a big wall. So use a flying mount to fly up there. The coordinates are 184, 432. This last skill tree spot is going to be very hard to get to. It's a lot of flying over mountains. So all you need to do is go west. And then see, we're going to go up along this mountain until we get to right here. The coordinates are negative 149, 583. So here's the location. Very hostile. These guys are annoying. They have like a crazy plasma rifle that they use. Yeah, the skill tree is right there. Here's the location on the map. You definitely got to be prepared when you come over here because if you freeze to death, then you're going to die and then it's going to be a process for you to get your stuff back. So that's going to be it for the guide. Hopefully you found it informative and it helped you out. I tried my best to show you every location so that way it wasn't confusing and you could easily find the spot. So consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel because I'm going to be making a lot more Power World content. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.